Hello right, guys, welcome to part two. Richard's still here, Mark's still here, I'm still here. And we're gonna start part two with Tenth Hole, Charlton Park, longest drive. Anyone that's ready? Okay. Yeah. yeah, have a whack. Looks like Jake, if you saw the Sweetwoods uh, Park video, you have seen Jake smash one and one longest drive down that hole. Looks like he's nailed one down here as well into the tightest gap. I mean, it's not really driver off this tee for me, but I'm going to need driver if I want to get past him. <laughs> so I'm going to have to risk losing some points in order to win a win a bottle of wine. At least you got your priorities right. It normally kicks a little left off them bunkers. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, oh. I don't know actually. I don't know if I've. I don't know whether that rolled back into it or whether it rolled over the top of it. Yeah, it's little, there's three bunkers just up this right side here. I think Mark might have just found the middle one. Sit. 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 Sit down. Oh, that's right. oh I, sit, I sit the 150 <laughs> post. I sit the 150 <laughs> post and stayed here. Oh, that is <laughs> that is inches from being in <laughs> so disaster. much trouble. <laughs> 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 it has to be his day after that. After the, was he have a hole with the, the stroke index two? Yeah. Yeah, after the stroke index two as well. <laughs> oh, that was in a world of trouble, wasn't it? <laughs> I was aiming for the 150. Yeah, he was aiming for that. Yeah, <laughs> stopped it. <laughs> Oh, come on. Get one up here. Good shape. Oh, I'll tell you what. Get out of that rough. Get out of the rough. You've got to be on the fairway then. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, this is going to be close. I've lost it now. Uh, right at Jake's. Oh, I don't know, I might sneak past that, but I thought I'll snuck inside of you on the last hole. Well, that's the best drive of it all day. <laughs> well, so as we get to Richard's drive, just to explain exactly how lucky that was. That hit. You, you can see the nice mark on it. Yeah, as well. it's, it's, uh, he's hit that post at about, well, it's gone back 10 yards, which tells you how high it hit it. And if it missed it, I only know this because I've actually been here myself. This is what he would have ended up in. Do you think it's Richard's day? Because I do. Yeah, he's hit it so hard, it's gone 10 yards backwards. Oh. Well, so results time of the longest drive. It's not Jake. It's not Jake. It is Andy Holland. That must be the guy playing with Jake. Yeah. Well, it was Andy Holland <laughs> until I snuck it. What's that, five yards? Yeah. Five yards past him. So, good drive, Andy. But Hard luck. Not, good not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough school round here. Don't worry, Andy. I know how he feels. He did that to me last time. Yeah, did he? Did he knock it past you? Did he? No, no. You knocked it past me at uh, the first one. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I did, yeah. didn't I? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Andy second. I'm first at the moment with a few behind. Oh, look at that. It's a bit it. <laughs> He's massive, isn't it? What is that? That's a double, that is a double decker bus, isn't it? it must be, must be. Double decker bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Oh my house that almost went into the middle of the green that didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Go on, they finished don't worry about that. I don't subscribe to all that rubbish about treading on people as well. <laughs> no, I'm not sure with my issues. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, shoes, yeah. It's a good four. <laughs> well strategized hole. That's what I was aiming for. Perfect 155 yard shot. <laughs> Oh. 
That was literally middle stump. What out? Yeah, what out of that? Sit down then. Sit down then. Go on, go back on the ground. I was going to say, it's not the worst thing that could have happened there, could it? So, the trials and tribulations of the featured group. <laughs> Somehow, he's gone through that tree, went in there somewhere, and now he's ended up here. And now I'm going to roll it along the path. And now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, roll it down the path. Get it back in play. Beauty. Go on, and again, and again. Yeah, Mark just made a fairway. Good shot. I've been practicing those. <laughs> You've been practicing the chip outs down the path. If he doesn't win today, then there is something seriously wrong with golf. So, uh, just walking down, oh, a little bit of hay trouble, <laughs> having a bit of a thrash around, <laughs> carries on if you had to see the back of the ball, oh no, can you get it? <laughs> Come on, give it a good old thump, get it out of there. Come out a bit left. So yeah, just walking down 14 now. Uh, Charlton Park, one of the uh, nicest golf courses we get to play around here. It's, uh, it's very similar to Sweetwoods in, uh, in terms of layout and the way the course plays and that. So it's a bit of the same as uh, Sweetwoods where you kind of just hit it where you can see it. And uh, you'll be all right, the, good, the, greens are, the greens are really good. There's a few greens around here where you need to, need to know where you're going and 
try and keep it below the hole. Thankfully, we've played around here quite a bit. But uh, I'm not too bad. I know where I'm sort of going. But in terms of people that are first playing here, you, you just have to accept that sometimes you're going to get the wrong side of the hole, and then you try and uh, try and do your best from there. I think I oh, just won the. I think I just got just inside Mark, we had a little hey? we had a little nearest the pin from uh, 116 seems so we was we was pretty close so I just nipped inside him. Not the not the greatest of uh, wedge shots. I actually thought it was I actually thought it was a bit short when I hit it but uh, yeah so yeah Charlton Park you just need to keep it in play off the tee. There's uh, a lot of hay as you can see around. So if you keep it in play and uh, you should score pretty well and I am at the moment. Right, we're on the 17th through 16 holes. We all made a little bit of a mess of that last 16th hole. But nearest the pin, one, two, five. What you got, wedge? Wedge. Wedge. One, two, five, there's one in there, 15, 16 feet looks like, so beatable. Bit clean. Uh, it's a good shot, it's where you want to be putting from, just short left of the flag. Yeah, good shot, mate. Did you enjoy that? Was better than the last part of the week. It's not as good as the, uh, not as good as the, the challenge, no. but not as bad as the other one. <laughs> we went about the same distance as the 5 iron, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think the 5 iron went that far. <laughs> What's your weapon of choice, Mark? 9 iron. Nine iron. Yeah, so flag's just tucked sort of middle right. It's pretty accessible. Looking straight at it, nothing you've... Yeah, you can beat that, Mark. You got that in you. <laughs> nice strike. Moving in on it. Moving in. Jump up. Uh, oh, oh it's a little bit of backspin. <laughs> a little bit of backspin on that. Come back. Not bad. Yeah, good for distance, it's a little right. Well, I think Mark's got a chance of uh, claiming nearest the pin. Just depends on. Well, yeah, I suppose. But all aboard, all within 20 feet. Someone should hold a putt there, surely. One of us has got to get a two out of this round, haven't we? It's about time one it's of us. It's about time one of us did. We've all threatened it a little. So, we have a nearest the pin winner. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've thought that I've done. Yeah, no, we were to come in. No, no, well, no. Well, winner out of us lot. One of us. Well, out of us lot, and he's putting his name on it. 
I actually thought Mark's was closer when we was walking up, but as we got here, yeah, what's that, 15 feet? He's got his name on the marker. There's two of us on a marker today, so we can't be doing too badly, can we? I'm just here, not very good. Mark, good quite, shot under the hole. Quite close, actually. But yeah, I'm probably closer than Richard, but yeah. on the fringe, doesn't count. Crap at golf. Let's see if someone can hold a putt. So who was it? Who was before? Oh, Andy Holland's having an awful day and he's off two markers now. Eagle time! Hopefully. <laughs> oh, been a nice day. I've really enjoyed this course. It's been in really good condition, to be fair. And all the guys, both guys that I've played with, seem to be really enjoying it. I'll, uh, have, I'll chat with them in a little while once uh, once we finish and get, get their thoughts on it. And we'll see what happens. Looks like there's, there's, there's the semi-final of the knockouts going on in the last group, so I'm going to hang around for them. The old man's in it. Looks like he's swinging it quite nicely from the few swings that I've seen him play out here. So, all well, all well and good so far. Should we uh, go and catch Mark? Go and catch Mark hitting his second, third shot into the last par five. Online looks a little short of the so oh, so like middle tier yeah, middle tier it. isn't it? I blame that. But I didn't. What's that? I blame that. I have not ever <laughs> didn't have a, didn't have his distance watch because he didn't put it on charge. <laughs> <laughs> so what what are you using there on oh, your wait, phone? Nineteenth hole. Nineteenth. Oh right. Is that like a one of them sat nav things? So oh right. Shows you the hole, okay, and then shows you the distances. Oh, right, and you just press on it, and it tells move you it around, yeah. move it around. It tells you where everything is. Yeah, oh, it's right. really good for, especially when you haven't played the course before, and you've kind of got blind shots. Yeah. And for people like me who hit the wrong fairways, really <laughs> hit, the, hit the wrong fairways. You know, you know where you are. Yeah. So how far you got in here then? Uh, Ninety-two. Ninety-two back flag. Yeah. I'll say it's three tier green. This one, so try and find middle to top tier be needed. Little clean again, was it? Uh, that's middle. Trying to get on top tier. I think he's clambered up on top tier. It's a good shot. enough to give me a little interview then <laughs> <laughs> so have you enjoyed your day been really good uh, the um, the weather's been kind to us despite a couple of bits of rain yeah we had a, a little bit it's in immaculate condition it's awesome isn't it yeah um, what, what we green, talk, what, what do we what do we reckon about this bunker shot 
What are we calling? Where well, if he takes after his dad, he'll do all right. <laughs> oh. oh. They don't allow you to play off the back, uh, <laughs> the back bank, James. <laughs> So you so you've enjoyed the day then? Really enjoyed it. It's, um, yeah, the course has been in really good condition, hasn't it? Yeah, um, and it's been really pleasant. I mean, as usual, good company. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good company. Meredith really, has so. beaten the O'Driscolls. Oh, that's that's the main thing. That's the main <laughs> thing. The Wrinkleys have beaten the, the so juniors. Oh, really? So, <laughs> oh, so you're a double winner? Yeah. Double winner. Oh, <laughs> can't complain if you're a double winner, then can you? Yeah. No, but I'm glad. I'm glad we came uh, here today. It's been really pleasant. I mean, yeah. as you say, the weather's uh, held up for us. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like I say, if you, as long as uh, as long as the greens are good and the course is in good condition, you've got good company. It's, it's a good day, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's absolutely wonderful. Good. And, uh, good meal to follow up. Exactly. We're going to tuck into some food in a little while. Okay. Thanks, <laughs> then, Mike. Howdy. Hello, mate. How are we doing? Yeah, not too bad. How'd you get on? Oh, oh, terrible. Did you? Yeah, it was terrible. I had. No confidence in any swing I made at all. No, really? Yeah, it was really shocking. And mind you, after my tee shot, I parred the first. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I hit a six iron down, then put my wedge to about two inches. Oh, lovely. Yeah, managed oh. to, didn't, didn't miss the putt, which I was quite pleased with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Proved Ma a bit. Martin got a par as well. He was there. And he's, Did he? Yeah, he chopped it all the way down there. And he played it. It, hit, it must have bounced that far over the wall yeah. and rolled up to about two foot and knocked it in for a par. What's that? Two, two for three? Two for four? Uh, uh, yeah, four for four. For four. four for four. Andy stuck it on the green, rolled in a 18 footer for a birdie. <laughs> so that was eight points. <laughs> <laughs> laughing. Yeah, well, laughing. Really, really good. But, but it was Mike, uh, Mike got within three inches of the nearest, nearest yeah. Did uh -huh. he? Yeah, three, well, three, three inches shot. from Richard's shop. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we had to measure it. We had to measure it. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was okay. very close. Who are you to undo oh, their flowers? The pole shrank in the rain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly <laughs> what it was. <laughs> well, my old man's just knocked it on the green in. Oh, I assume that's probably three, actually. Might be four. But it could be in four. Water. <laughs> I think Razor was about four shots ahead. Oh, was he? Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, he'd be happy then. At least I, at least I have a, a nice, to, a nice drive home then. I have to go out no more sleep and uh, more often. <laughs> yes. That's such a frustrating day because the course is there <laughs> for the taking, wasn't it? Yeah, you it was. Must, you played well today, 32. Yeah, I'll, I'll, four I'll, under. Yeah, I left a couple out there. No, two under, wasn't it? Yeah, sorry, two under. Yeah, my apologies. Yeah, I left. I left a few out there. You've, you've seen some of the videos. I left a few putts out there. But I thought the greens were a little slow on the back nine, weren't they? Yeah, they were. A little, well, not slow. Those were a little slower than the front. Yeah, I had sixteen on the front nine. I had sixteen on front nine, and I was standing. I had uh, twelve points, standing on the sixteenth tee. So going on nicely, hooked it out of bounds. <laughs> that was the end of that hole. <laughs> Although I did, I, I gave myself a putt for a point. So yeah. That wasn't so bad. No. And then. Pied the, pied the par three and then put my tee shot into the bunker, chopped it into the water, <laughs> dropped out, chopped it into the bunker, <laughs> knifed it into the fence. <laughs> 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 what have you Martin, been doing? Martin, Martin said to me, you play your next shot? I said, no. No, I'm all right. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't I'm have to, I'm out this hole. I don't want to have to do it while at the swimming pool. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, I scored one point in the last three holes. I'm not sure. Well, well, I was really, really <laughs> fancied it, but never. It happens. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Right, guys, I'm here with the winner of the DSL chart and park. Familiar face from Pedham Place. Obviously had another good round today. Uh, the course was in really good condition, I'm sure you agree. Absolutely. Um, it was pretty easy, it was there for the taking I thought today. Even even off plus six I had 32 points, but I felt, <laughs> like, I, felt like I left a few out there. Um, obviously you had a good round, so how did you find it? Yeah, I, um, I, like you, I thought the course was there for the taking. I hit the ball well today. The, um, the first three holes were not great for me and I didn't think it was there for the taking <laughs> after that. But actually I pulled myself together then went birdie, par, 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 par. So that started getting the points going for me and just held it together really through the course. Didn't really have any problems. Never never went in the rough, which looks beautiful, but is not a place to go. Uh, the greens I thought were a bit slower than we played here a couple of weeks ago, but uh, on the whole, they, they put it nice and evenly. You picked a line, they stayed on them really, just needed to hit them. But uh, yeah, I think the course was, um, was playable today really. So obviously you, you did start off that great, so what, what was the difference between the way you started and the way that you gained your points afterwards, is it just finding fair ways and keeping it in play? I think, I think basically I actually hit the ball 
hit the ball really well off the first tee. I then uh, thinned my wedge, and, and, and Jake will uh, attest to this. I like using the bottom two grooves on most of my clubs because I like to sell them on eBay at some point <laughs> without much wear in the middle. But I th thinned my wedge straight through the back of the green of the bunker where somebody had raked uh, Mount Everest and Mont Blanc together, and the ball was in between the two. So it took me two to get out of that, and then I didn't actually make a point on the first, and I should have done. Um, but yeah, I just I gave myself a talk to really. It was oh, like, well. actually, you're hitting the ball all right. Just yeah. just carry on doing what you're doing. And and then, uh, as I say, I went birdie, par, par, yeah. par, and it was just, so it's just, it's just like it, that really. It was just a few mistakes, yeah, yeah. mistakes starting off, and then yeah. once you got them out of the way, Absolutely, that was fine. Absolutely, yeah. Once they were out of the bag, that was fine. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, you was playing in the semi-final against my old man as well. Yeah. Uh, sounds like you gave him an hammer. He won't tell me how many points he got, which tells me that <laughs> it wasn't great. Uh, basically, uh, your dad, unfortunately, only scored 23 points. <laughs> And um, he, um, he just had a bad day at the office, really. Yeah. He, um, he lost his head after about three or four holes. Oh. And, 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 and it took him about um, 12 to get them back, really. Oh, right. Hey. <laughs> and then he finished par par. Oh, right. So uh, after that, he was doing all right. But, uh, he just he, he, he decided in his head he was he was not on the golf course and his business was in his head. Right. And he was thinking about other things rather than his golf. Oh. So it was a bit of a shame for Ray. Nice day for me because I was thinking about golf. <laughs> So obviously you got Espen in the final. Espen yep. won his match as well. That, he did. That sounded like it was a decent match, although lower scoring. They they were ding dong actually. They they kept opening the door for each other, which was which as I was watching it and I was thinking, oh, now he's going to take the lead, and then <laughs> they'd slam it in each other's faces. It was quite funny, really. <laughs> so they, they'd both then bogey a hole or blob a hole or then both par a hole. It was it was a strange match, and then unfortunately Espen, well unfortunately for Richard, Espen just managed to eke out a couple of yeah. pars, get two or three points in, in front, and then finished five points ahead. Cool. And also going into the last round, you leading the order merit by two over me. Over you, yeah. Over me. So uh, in the in the final video at the Neville, I was going to be me in Espen and Tony Kemba, the yep. top four in the order merit, and obviously the match play final as well. Yeah. So we look forward to that. We're going to. Have a bit if of it's love. the Neville. Uh, we, we don't know the. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't know the destination yet. Hopefully it's the Neville. Yep. Hopefully, if not, then we'll we'll find oh, yeah, somewhere to do it. But obviously that, that's going to be a fun yeah, yeah. four ball. Especially. It's always going to be very close for everything, basically. Yeah. And, and it's going to be on film. <laughs> and there's going to be a lot of stuff going on obviously with the matches and the order of merit and yeah. things like that yeah yeah so guys this is the end of our video hope you enjoyed the day obviously well done to ian for his for his 36 points today i've just seen null <laughs> you are null um if you've liked the video guys make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below with your thoughts on any of the stuff that's over the two videos and if you don't subscribe make sure you subscribe as well so as for now we'll see you at the next event in September, October. Six, eight weeks time. I'll see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye.